So if you are at all interested in the Samsung Gear S2, you have probably reviewed a lot of videos and they are going to focus on how well Tizen works and how intuitive the interface really is for a wearable. I'd like to take a look at some different things that hopefully will interest you. One thing that really amazed me when I first saw this watch was the build quality. The dial is very smooth working and it feels very firm. Doesn't feel like it's going to move. Because it's a classic, it is etched, not smooth, like the Gear S2. Now everyone knows that Samsung likes buttons and sure enough, they added a couple of buttons to this watch. So they're on the side. The top one is the back button. The bottom one is the home button. You can see there isn't a lot of room around the buttons and they are quite flush. As a matter of fact, you only barely feel them when you're touching it. So they did a really great job with that. Another thing Samsung is well known for is making those proprietary wristbands. Now the thing that really drew me to this device is that this is a standard 20 millimeter band and in fact they do make it easy to change by including this quick release pin on each end. This watch is rated as IP67, so you probably would want to change the band when you used it for things like kayaking and water sport that doesn't take you below one foot, 30 centimeters. So that talks about the build quality. Let's talk a little bit about charging. One thing that uh, Samsung also did was include these funky brackets for charging. With the Gear S2, they did go to simply a wireless charger. And in fact, in a pinch, you can use any wireless charger. This is the wireless charger I use for my S6. And you can see that with proper placement, it will charge my device. And the flashing is indicating that it is still charging, although we're not sure. So it probably is better to get a cradle style wireless charger, but as I said, in a pinch, go for it. The last thing I wanted to talk about was the keyboard. One of the things I found really frustrating with Android Wear was that I always had to talk and I am frequently in places where there's a lot of noise interference or it's not particularly confidential. And just go. Mm, if I could find things, it would be easier, of course. They do give you lots of choices. Of course, this isn't a real message. And uh, I don't usually film while I'm doing messages. So that is just a quick review of some of the different aspects about the Gear S2 that I find that, you know, we don't really talk about in reviews. So I hope this is helpful to you. A lot of people hesitate to get something that isn't Android Wear. This is only really works well with Samsung phones. It does work with some other ones but you will not be able to purchase apps. And uh, that is something that you probably want to do. So thanks for watching. And this is a short review of some different things about the Gear S2. Hope you enjoyed it.